drafting, apparently. You and I love drafting. We're, we're going to do another draft. And we stole. I stole this idea from Mr. Bill Simmons um, from his podcast um, yesterday. I'm going to do it here. Um, I want to draft. You and I get five each. I want to draft five players each, 10 players total. Because we talk about the CBA and this this new CBA is going to impact a lot of things going forward because the new second apron is coming in, in two years and all that. And I got a lot of people I talk to, NBA writers, all that, ourselves, you, you, you and I as well talk about this, that we believe that this could be a very active offseason. Like a lot of things that have been happening probably because of that CBA, um, second April coming, you know, Bob Myers leaving the Warriors because I, I believe because of the fact that he's wanted that chaos to happen once once had to break down the team. So I want to draft in, in, in draft uh, order, um, pick. 10 guys that if they were to get traded this summer, that it wouldn't be a surprise to you. You'd be, you wouldn't be shocked based on the, the optics, based on what's going on and based on what's what, what, what about the scene two years with these, uh, this new, new second apron coming in. So, um, so I just did a, so I did a randomizer first. So I flip a coin first. Huh? I, re- I refuse to pick first. Okay. okay. I want to laugh at how bad you were going to get this first pick in the draft wrong. Well, I know who you're gonna. I know who you're gonna pick. I'm not. I'm gonna leave that for you in the next, the second, the next round. There's no next. way you know who I'm picking. One. Okay, I'm gonna take Trey Young as my first pick. Trey Young. Yes. And let me tell you why. He. Uh, yes, please. There's already there's already, there's already rumors about him getting traded about about the front office getting him a green light after the season ended. Well, not, no, even before the season ended, when the play-in started, about them possibly. Taking offers for him, um, they have they have a decision to make between him and Murray after this year because Murray is a free agent next year, and if you use the one year sample of, you know, fit, that didn't look that good last year in Atlanta. Those two together, so Atlanta might be forced to make a decision about whether or not to move Trey, who has still has value because he's still number number one young enough. Um, and uh, see what it can do with him. It it just wouldn't shock me if the Hawks went through with it and got back got back a nice old haul. And I think also with Quinn Snyder too being there, I think they they trust it. They trust Quinn Snyder, and I think they can build a nice little team around Snyder and Murray and those guys. I just think Trey Young might be the best asset. It just wouldn't shock me if they trade Trey Young this summer. It wouldn't shock me at all, based on all the noise around that. I your go. Trey Young is in my top ten, mm-hmm. so you didn't completely blow it. Okay, but he he is not even in my top five. What this reminds me is when the Giants had a few years ago a chance to draft a kid with like the sixth pick and the fifteenth pick or something. That's two years ago, right? Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. And, and they rushed and they took this kid, Daniel Jones. This David Gummer's dumbass. When he would be sitting further back. Now, yeah, he might get traded this offseason, but there's a couple guys that are getting kicked out the door a little bit faster. So with the set, so yeah. I don't. I can understand why they'd want to get rid of Trey Young. He's six foot tall and weighs one hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, soaking wet. So when you have a guy who can't shoot and plays no defense, yes, you want to get rid of him. Question is, how many teams want to trade for that guy? You, I think, with Trey Young, you actually have to attach a draft pick. You may have to, which is fine. Yeah. No. Yeah. If they have, if they have any, and I know they they gave up a lot to get Murray. Exactly. That's the other part of this too, also too. That. So who's your pick? With the number two pick, a guy who deserved to be the number one pick, DeAndre Ayton. This man is going bye bye so fast. He doesn't even know what hit him. 
He is going to be out of town faster than Chris Paul will be. He's also the only value they have, an asset they have that they can move. Yes. Yeah. And they need depth. And they need a point, a starting point guard. Unless Chris Paul decides, all right, you can give me the 15 million now, and then I'll take like seven million to come back and start for you. You know. Would be the worst thing in the world. No. I think it'd be a great deal for for both both parties. Yeah, but in order for that, you know, Aiton's gone again because Chris Paul isn't going to put up with him. And as much as Aiton is, is, is as much as, as ornery as he is, there is some value for him. I think I, I, again, I'll say Dallas yeah. has Dallas can use him. You know who could have used him this year in the playoffs? Miami, the second round, Golden State, Golden State. Yep, and Miami could use him probably in the, in the finals. It's a Although Jokic owned him too, though, so it doesn't matter. You can't stop Jokic. No, no one could. Yeah, but at least Golden State could have lost to uh, you know Jokic later in the. Yeah. My third, my second pick, the third pick in this draft. Um, I'm gonna go Tyler Hero. Because Ooh. these Damian Lillard rumors are circulating like crazy, and if if what he said, his mouth. Is that Miami is hypothetical where you want to go to first? Tyler Hero is going to be is, is the absolute biggest asset that Miami will give up to get him. There is no Jimmy and Bam are the only two guys on our roster at this point that are untradeable. Bam, you can't replace Bam defensively, first off. What he provides the heat defensively, you can't replace that. Put it this way you trade Bam for you trade Bam for Lillard, you actually get worse. Actually, because while you get the offensive player. Defensively, now you 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 fall apart. Now, like Bam cleans up a lot of the mess on defense, especially too. He's he's, he's great on switches. I mean, he's he's undersized, but the things he does, he he does a good job on Giannis, does a good job on on Tatum on switches and all that. So he's a value. Hero will be, will be the main piece for Miami to get a, a Lillard or another Whale. So I, the Hero is my next pick. So, so you took Hero. Mm-hmm. As trade bait for Lillard, even though Lillard's on on the draft board still. Like, and here's my question: mm-hmm. How many other teams are you trading a hero to? Because do you want to put his name out there when you just watched what your your backcourt did in in the NBA Finals? Only you only trading hero. If Lillard does say I want out, you're not otherwise or anybody else. I mean, there's another another player. I mean, Jalen Brown be only other player you could you consider, but that's 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 a little more complicated. Okay, but and, and plus, I don't I don't expect Boston Miami to do business either. To be honest with you, I'm big on it as well too. So, who do you feel is more confident of getting traded, Lillard or Hero? How many teams do you want? To... I, I I mean, this is a... I knew you were gonna blow this th- 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 this this draft. <laughs> like, oh my god! Heroes so 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 essentially, it's, it's a wash because if 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 they trade, yeah, Lillard technically should be. But again, Lillard has to be the one. To but start. I I feel like there's a few more suitors for for Lillard. Of course, there is. Lillard's the, it's the best player who could be available, but he's the one that controls the cards in that one. And. I don't. I, well, I honestly, think Hero is probably the better player because again, in Lillard, I just watched what your backcourt did. No, no. I mean, you guys don't need a six foot one guy who plays zero zero defense. You really don't need that at all. So yeah, you, you go for that. No, oh, what, what's your pick? I, I, what's your I pick? <laughs> I think you're you're undervaluing hero. No, I'm not. I'm just I, going, I, I, I understand that the, the Lillard thing is a bigger deal. Well, I don't think Lillard's getting traded to the Heat. I I, I have very low belief in him getting traded from Portland. You think he'll stay? You think he's gonna stay in Portland? Yeah, I think it's very hard to get a trade partner. One, there are very few trade partners out there. That's why I think that it's important that if Lillard well, wants to get traded, he's, he's got to say something now. He's going to be on the draft board after the fourth pick, so feel free to take him at, with the fifth. Okay, so what's the four for you? Uh, 
with the fourth pick in the draft, I'm taking Pascal Sayakum of Toronto. That's a sneaky, sneaky good pick. So and... Frank Van Fleet is leaving. Yeah. There's no way Toronto's willing to pay him. No. Nope. Because they know the kind of minutes they've put on his knees. That I think he averaged like almost 38 minutes a game during the regular season. Siakam feels like Houston to me. Yes. And so once you leave lose your point guard and you have a top five lottery pick, you're gonna just go ahead. Or not a top five lottery pick, excuse me. When you when you need a top five lottery pick to rebuild your franchise, you have to tear it down. Yeah. So you might as well do it all in one fell swoop. And so I think Siakam is the best option. Yeah. For so many teams who need a power forward, small small center. What's his contract also? Is it a good contract? It's I believe it's up after this year. Okay, so he's expiring too. So you you want a new deal, obviously. I believe I I'd have to relook it up. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing it right now, actually. Looking it up right this second. Um, salary Pascal Siakam, or maybe he has one year left. No, he signed a four year deal. He signed a four year deal with Toronto. Um, no, no, that, no, it's up this year. I think it's up. Uh, yeah, hold on. So this is, it'll I, be. I, I, I think you're right. I think you're right. Hold on. I think you're right. Um, he yeah. has. Yeah, he's he, he next year's last year. Uh, 37, 37, 8. Yeah. So he's gonna probably get a new deal wherever he goes. Anything that transfer is is, uh, is gonna be cool, trying to get into a uh, a new contract with him. So no, I, I'm with you on that. All right, fifth pick for me. Fifth pick in the draft for me. Third pick for me. Uh, Lillard. I'll take Lillard. Okay. I, I was going to do that. So I want to go over how many teams could really trade for him, or Miami, would for him. Miami, Philadelphia. Wait, what? One. What does Miami have to offer? They, they have. Don't they still have draft picks. They have. So this is what they. Have. I'm not saying they're gonna do, they're gonna do all of this. You this would have they, to cut your team's depth. Yeah. What? Hero and and most of your depth. Yeah. And whatever remaining draft pick is possible. Yeah. And I don't think that's really enough. So hero. You got Robinson, who's up this value this postseason. Kyle Lowry's expiring, if anything, to 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 make it work money numbers wise. They have draft picks also to give up. Still have draft picks. Okay. Um, they have the 18th to pick in a draft this year, and then I think something else next year as well too. Um, you, if you want to throw in Kayla Martin, which would, be, which would be a dumb idea, but if you want to throw in Kayla Martin, you could do that as well too. So it's not a sweetheart deal right now currently. I think he's so, a new deal next year. He's gonna gut the franchise for for a guy who's gonna make like sixty one. The thing is, the reason why Lillard works though for Miami though is that him and Jimmy Butler are on the same timeline. Yeah, in terms of age. I agree. I agree. All right, so but, you got Miami, well, Philadelphia, Philadelphia. You have Maxi and no draft picks really, but, um, because Harden's leaving to go to Houston. We, or, we assume. You don't want Harden in, in Portland. There's that doesn't help you at all. Hmm. Uh, who else? Boston hypothetically. Though he already said no. People, but people, people really. Bo- he's not better than Jalen Brown. He doesn't. Play I agree. Any- but does Boston see that? I mean, the, the only problem, the problem with Jalen Brown and and, and and Tatum, yeah, is that what they do is kind of redundant. Look, it works. It's success. They they've gone to many conference finals, many finals. So I'm gonna say it doesn't work, but they they do need a point guard. <laughs> they do need a point guard. So then I think you have the Knicks, but the, the Knicks that would, that'd and, be Randall and most, most and probably R.J. Barrett. But you'd you'd be willing to do it. Yeah, absolutely, without question. He would go to Brooklyn, even though Brooklyn has players and picks now. Yeah. He mentioned Brooklyn as, as four teams. One of his four teams. So he doesn't want to win. Right, but that's, that's what I'm saying. The best spot for him is Miami. Yeah, if, if he wants to win, of course. That's, if, if the Pirates win, but if you if don't want to win, then stay Portland. The only one, the West Coast, the only team I could really visualize it was Memphis. They trade Jaw because he's going to be suspended, but he he'll be back and he'll be a star. So Portland will like that. 
How about the, how about the Portland Clippers? gets a star shooting point guard again, what about the Clippers? which they need with everything else, and they can continue to be a top four playoff team. What about, what about the Clippers? What are they trading Kawhi or Paul George? They trade a piece and some pieces. I don't know. I mean, maybe... and then there's no draft picks. That's true. I don't. I don't have no draft picks whatsoever. Yeah. Lakers. Uh, Miami. Don't... Miami's the best spot for him. Really, honestly, it really is the best spot for him. You think about it. Miami has something of a package. Right. The only other team would be like say Milwaukee if Middleton leaves. You yeah. then pass through Holiday picks and maybe someone else for him, and then you got two dynamic scores. Yeah. That can create uh, off their own, but I, I just don't see a lot of teams because all the shit teams don't want them because they're trying to rebuild. All right, what's your pick? Number six pick. With the sixth pick in the draft, I got who I had number three, Demar Derozan. Ooh, that's a good one. In fact, Chicago has massive decisions to make this season. They have Vufasic, who Vucevic, is, yeah. who's going to be a free agent. Who Orlando has their sixth pick in the draft because of it, or not the sixth, the eleventh pick in the draft because of it. So they're looking at at Orlando, going, "Damn, we have to decide whether or not we re-sign a center that does nothing to help us win, and we'll have to pay a fortune for." And watch a kid get drafted that could help us. And then we had DeMar DeRozan in the last year of a contract. 28, 28 six to be exact. Yeah. And he's still pretty good. Pretty good. So you're going to feel obligated. He's going to want an extension. And if you don't give it to him because of his age at, what, I think he's 33, 34. So you don't give it to him. You lose out on that money spot. So I think he is getting traded this offseason. He's definitely a, tra- a nice trade trade piece. Um, he's probably looking for another another like last last uh, contract, decent side contract going forward too. Especially, I mean, I'm not, I am not a Zach Levine guy. First off, let's start there. Um, he's massively overpaid, forty yeah. million this next year, forty three after that. Chicago, <laughs> Chicago's <laughs> fucked, man. Chicago's <laughs> fucked. Yeah, beyond beliefs. You know, and, and Lonzo Ball, career thing over. Years. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the, I, the the Rosen pick is nice. That that's actually a really good pick, and I think he's going to be one of those sneaky players that you know may find someone a contender who needs to, to, to get over the hump. He yeah. might be a rental for somewhere next year, and hope, or he hope. might be like a San Antonio uh, veteran. Now he won't be back in San Antonio, but no, I feel like he wants to win now at this point. I mean, yeah, win Miyama, but. They they're probably gonna be a couple of years away from contending. I yeah. mean, even with Miyama's first year there. Um, but that this is a sneaky. He's a sneaky nice piece for a team that's gonna try to go over the hump. Like you send him to Milwaukee he or some one of those teams. Number three for a true winning team. Yeah, if you send him to like a Milwaukee or a Clip or or a Warriors or one of those teams that you know that right there on the cusp, that can change some things there. So, all right, next pick for me, seventh pick in the draft. All right, um, that was good. Please get one right. Just one. That's all I'm asking. Tobias Harris. Yes. Tobias Harris. And it's, it's attractive now because he has only one year left in his deal. So, again, he's kind of like DeRozan. He's not a bad player. He's just overvalued based on that contract. But put him on a contending team. That, well, then again, pull his contending team also, too. This is a weird fit. Um, Put him on a, on a team like, as mentioned, a Miami or Clippers, or that needs an extra ump, that extra t- thirty points a game that that can help. Um, yeah, they they do want to trade. I like him. He was in my top ten, but he's a guy who I think will have to have a draft pick attached. Probably make it make it make it sweet. And I think a team will take because he'll be used as trade bait for next year's with such a huge number. The year mm-hmm. after is mm-hmm. such a huge number. I like Harris. One of the his deal. Yeah. No, Tobias that's... Harris over me. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Anyway. All right. Your turn. It's, guy, turn. it's a guy I can't let go anymore. They're, they're, he's going to have to get traded because no one else on the team can get traded. 
and that's cat. Colin. Yeah. 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 In fact, I'm I'm willing to bet that he after Lillard is gonna be the biggest wheel available because the go bear the go bear thing fucked him. I think he's there's a better chance he is traded just because of his size and use. And that's it. But look, this is they're going into the last year and and uh Anthony Edwards contract. He, so he's about to get a massive extension. They, they're going to they're going to pick him over Anthony Edwards. Oh Anthony. yeah. You have to so you have to pay him. Uh, yeah, see, no, see, but see, right here, Bo Bear's contract starts this year. Yeah, see, it? right, you see, right here, and again, they didn't, they didn't know if this new CBA would come into play. But even with that, right here is exactly why we said this podcast last year at this time last year, why that trade was fucking stupid. It oh yeah, hampered your entire team, especially for what you traded for. When you literally drafted that exact same makeup and Walker Kessler. Yeah. Like, that was the dumbest thing you I've ever seen a team do. Draft the exact same guy they need and then trade him away for a $40 million exact replica. Yeah. Stupid. Who runs that fucking team? <laughs> All right. Last pick here. I was going to save this guy for you, but you're not going to take him, I guess. I'm going to go the other Hawks guard, John Murray. Because if they decide to keep Trey Young, then maybe you trade Murray, get back some of those picks you, you gave up for him. I mean, you can't let him off with nothing. So either you sign him to max deal next summer. But then again, you have John Collins on your on your on your uh, book still, who was also on my on my list of, of uh, oh yeah. <laughs> but I, I think, think Murray he was twelve on my list. Who's that? He was twelve on my list. Oh, oh okay, okay. No, I I will go Murray because I think Murray, if if not Trey Young, then Murray's the other option. But but I, I think the Hawks would wouldn't mind train Trey Young because they get, if I get more for him because of the name value alone. Oh no! See, I I think they'll get more from Murray. Really? Of his size, yeah. They okay. shoot about the same percentage from three at this point, and one is six six with like a almost six ten wingspan. Right. So, but Murray. I I, I mean that that's another terrible pick, but you know whatever. Keep doing your thing, man. <laughs> Who's the last pick? All right. I feel like I have to say him because he was my number four pick in the draft. Okay. But after you threw out two just insanely crazy, stupid picks. That's what I'm here for. For tonight's draft board. I'm going to throw out one that you're going to say, no way. And that's Zion Williamson. Whoa. Now, I want you to understand he's replacing my guy, Jordan Poole. Okay. Who I had way up on my list and somehow kept falling down because of who you picked. But uh, just hear me out. Okay. I see it. Ingram, you know, is a, a 1A, B, B plus guy, right? When, he- when healthy. When healthy. Now, but he's usually healthier than Zion. So he's a, you can count on him a little it's more. It's a low bar, though, but okay. Yeah. Here's the thing. CJ McCollum, my other option out, out of this organization, is probably the better option for the for for them to get rid of just because you know you can't win with them. That's been proven with Lillard. But I think you could still get something for Zion. Even though every team has seen he doesn't care, I think teams would still take a chance on him. And, and too good when healthy. Too, too good player when healthy to not take a chance on him. 
in two years, you do not want CJ McCollum's contract extension. And Zion's 22 years old also. I mean, other than the missing the porn stars thing, but other than that, he's, you know. Whatever, man. <laughs> so, look, my I honorable mention, huh? I, my, I never made my the girls I dated fill out a job application. <laughs> So uh, the other guys on my list, I had um, I had four other guys I was considering. I had Bradley Beal. Um, no, I wanted you to pick. I I just felt so hard like you were gonna pick Bradley Beal, and I was um, fine. I had John Collins. Yeah, because he's always in the trade rumors, and in fact, I heard it today this morning that they're looking to move him again. Um, Kyle Lowry, aspiring deal. I think he his performance in the finals actually helped us up his his uh, value a little bit. And they have Julius Randle. I have Julius Randle. I have Julius Randle. Pretty. I had him top ten on my yeah. list. All right. I think it's apparent he's he cannot get you to the promised land. Now maybe Jalen Brunson can't either, but you know he can help you get a lot further. No, he's that. But Jalen Brunson's a better leader. Yeah. So also on my list, I think there is a slight chance Jalen Brown does get traded. Okay. No, I talked about the CJ McCollum instead of Zion. While I don't believe Lillard gets traded, I think Anthony Simmons gets traded. Yeah, they already said that yesterday. They said that two days ago that they're looking to look and shop him around now. I, I, I would trade him if I'm going to be forced to draft Scoot Henderson if I can't yeah. trade the number three pick. I think it was value. Yeah. And then Buddy Hild was my other guy. From Indy, mm. just because you know a shooter, every team's looking for a shooter. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. We probably could have gone like a couple more rounds. <laughs> whatever, whatever, oh whatever. hell yeah, we could. I mean, I still got a list of players. Uh, Evan yeah. forty eight for 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 the Knicks. But that's a, that's that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a salary dump. That's a salary dump for you. Yeah, man. and that's the thing is like. Some of my salary dumps, you know, are going to happen, but who's really trading for them? So I was trying to stick with players that people are going to be trying to trade for. Value players, players that, that can make an impact on teams. Like, I could see Miles Turner as a value, value trade for some teams out West. Right. 